In this video, we're going to take a look at HSMWorks functionality that automatically avoids collisions between the tool holder and the part. To help with the demonstration, I have already created two operations, that being a roughing operation and a finishing operation that's colliding with my part. So let's go ahead and run a simulation to see where the collision is, and then later I'll walk you through the process of how to avoid those collisions when calculating the toolpath. So I've selected my job, and I'll click Stock Simulation. And press Play to begin the simulation. It starts with the adaptive clearing, and then in the finishing operation we can see our tool is too short and we're colliding with the part. So let's go ahead and pause the simulation and go back to our operation tree. Now I quickly want to show you one other way we can see that collision. If I select my toolpath and click Simulate, I can click any point on the toolpath to see where the tool and holder is at that position in the strategy. And clearly we have our collisions as the tool is getting down into the bottom corners. Again, let's click OK. And we're ready to start making changes to the toolpath that avoids these collisions. I'm going to right click and edit the operation. On the tool tab, we're going to turn on shaft and holder detection. Here we have several methods of avoiding a collision. The first one we're going to look at is simply fail on collision. So I've turned on fail on collision and I'm checking to see when the shaft comes within a given range of the part and when the holder comes within a given range of the part. We'll click OK and calculate the toolpath. Upon completion the toolpath has an X next to it. If I right click and show the log the error tells me that we are unable to calculate the toolpath due to a collision between the shaft and or holder and our part. Let's click close and try another option. I'll right click and select edit and change to detect length. Again we'll click OK and the toolpath will begin to calculate. This time we have a small check mark indicating that there's a note. Let's right click and look at the log. Detect length automatically detected how long the tool needed to be to machine this part, and it updated how far the tool was sticking out of the holder. This ensures that the tool is only sticking out as far as it needs to be, keeping the tool as rigid as possible. Let's go ahead and close, and there's two other ways we can look at. Again, I'm going to right click and edit the tool path. Now I need to select another copy of my tool because this tool was updated to be longer as a result of the previous detect length option. So let's go ahead and select another quarter inch ball that's short and use that for our next method of running shaft and holder detection. I'm going to select my drop down and use trimmed. I'll select OK and the toolpath is generated. This time we simply trimmed away the portions of the toolpath that couldn't be machined using the shorter tool. The last option that we're going to look at is pull away. So again we'll edit, select trimmed and change that to pull away. I'll click OK. And this toolpath machines as much of the part as it can and when the holder is going to collide, it pulls away but maintains a fluid toolpath throughout the part. So, upon calculating a toolpath within HSMWorks, we can have the toolpath fail if there's going to be a collision, we can automatically extend the length, or we can modify the toolpath to machine as much of the part that can be machined with the given tool length by either pulling away or trimming the toolpath. When we pull away or trim the toolpath, we still need to get in and get those other surfaces, this time of course with a longer tool. So let's go ahead and duplicate this toolpath by holding control and tapping D. We now have a duplicate instance of the toolpath. I'm going to right click and select edit. From the library, I'll pick the longer tool that we created when we auto detected the length and press select. The trick here is I only want to machine the areas that weren't machined with the shorter, more rigid tool. So let's move on to the Geometry tab and turn on Rest Machining. I can click OK. 
and we have a clean operation that's just machining the areas that weren't machined on the previous toolpath that pulled away. Well, I hope with this video you can now see how you can use HSMWorks to avoid collisions and keep your tool as rigid as possible.